Hey everybody, welcome back to A Tale of Three Cabins. I'm kind of picking up where I left off last week. I'm trying to get my garden in before it gets too late in the season. And if you remember last week, I had a problem with my tiller, and I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But uh, to continue on here, I need to put a fence in where the garden's going to go. So I'm drilling about 12 holes. Um, I did some post holes for a buddy of mine a couple weeks ago, and this is a hair bit different. I'm using a smaller auger, a 6 inch auger this time. And I got a lot of comments on that last video of things to try, so I am trying those things. One of them was to use slower RPMs, and I might not snap anything or break any of the uh, shear bolts. Now one of the things I noticed with the slower RPM is that I'm not spitting the dirt out like I normally would, so it kind of falls right back in the hole. It's not that big a deal, you can easily clean it out with a post hole digger. Another comment I got was not to start the auger until you have it placed on the ground where you're going to start your hole, and it does help. So this is another first for me coming up here with the auger. So I cut the PTO just before it sawed out and I had the three point hitch lifted to raise up all the way but it was not going up at all and the auger was just kept sucking it back down on the ground. I'm going to give it another shot here but it's going to want to do the same thing. I'm a little scared that I got it too deep where I can't disconnect it but what I want to do is I didn't break the shear bolt so I'm going to try to put some uh, some cribbing around it to keep it from sinking any lower and see if I can still spin it out. So everything's spinning, the PTO's spinning, the auger's still spinning, and I still have the up pressure using the three-point hitch, and I'm not coming out of the ground yet. The good thing is I'm not going into the ground, but it seems that the clay is so wet it's almost creating a suction down below, because when I do drill a hole I can see water at the bottom of it. I've never had that happen to me before and it looks like it might happen again.
curious if anybody else has had something similar happen to them, let me know. I just have a few more posts to drill out here. Hit a pretty good sized rock on this one, but um, it didn't affect anything. So I think there's instances where the slow RPM would come in handy and then a little faster RPM also. And it probably just depends on the soil, how the auger's feeling, um, how the diesel engine running, does it sound like it's going to bog down, should you kick it up. And then if you got nice, clean, loose dirt, then a faster RPM is good and you could spit that dirt out and kick it away from the hole. Um, if you're dealing with this um, real compact soggy clay then a slower RPM might be better for you. Okay, well there's definitely something wrong with the tiller. Looking online from the little I could tell, and maybe a self-diagnosis, if I take off the uh, oil fill, I can kind of peek in there with a flashlight. It looks like the chain is still hooked up, but it's still slipping. And sometimes it works. When I put it down into the dirt, the time stop. So it's telling me that maybe the tension on the chain is not tight enough. And there is. I believe a chain tensioner in here. So a lot of times I see that the spring breaks on them. Um, it's something I really don't want to deal with right now. This is all full of grease. So I called Tartar and they told me to call Tractor Supply. I called Tractor Supply. I rounded up my receipt. I'm going to take it down there, and they said they'd either give me a replacement or fix it with the parts. Um, they said it was my choice. I went online and looked to see if this tiller is still available, and the SKU is not on there. I searched their whole website, and I don't see this tiller anymore. So I don't know if they stopped manufacturing it or what the deal is. So... I had a few things I got to do. I got to take my uh, pins off here and put the old ones back on. And then I need to load it up, take it back to Director Supply. So I just want to say I'm being very careful and ginger here. And I know I have a lot of weight on the front end with no ballast in the back. And you can tell that by the wheel spinning right there. So um, I'm being very careful. I'm right next to my pickup truck. I didn't have to take this far. Otherwise, I would have loaded some weight on the back. Okay, a quick trip to tractor supply and back to work.
Usually this time of year these would be cottonwoods floating through the air but those are snowflakes and it's early May and it's kind of freaky. Well, no word on the tiller, so I'm going to rake some of this out, but I would still like to get some more soil from my chicken run area. If I were going to plant a garden, I want to do it right and have some decent soil in there, so hopefully the tiller will come back soon. going to do it for today. I'll pick up where I left off next week and let me make it a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to finish with the garden next week and give you an update on the tiller. Uh, latest is I talked to Tractor Supply today and I'm getting a replacement. I talked to Tartar, they said I'm going to get a replacement. Tractor Supply had to line it up. Um, they don't make that tiller anymore, so I don't know what that means. I don't know if the replacement is like a refurbished one that they rebuilt or if it's an actual new one that might have uh, some differences to the model and uh, maybe an upgrade. So I'm uh, crossing my fingers that maybe this will have a silver lining, but it's been three weeks and it's really the tilling season. It's getting a little frustrating. So come check us out next week and um, keep an eye on us. Subscribe if you like us and take care everybody.